So uh, this tutorial covers how to access um, the journals that U of T pays for through the U of T Libraries website. Uh, so as a U of T student, um, you have access to certain journals for free because U of T has paid uh, for that. And um, that's certainly something you can do with Sente. So I'm just going to open a previous tutorial here. And um, so I see some references there, and they're not enough. Um, so what I will do is I will um, open a browser, and I will um, go to the U of T Libraries website. Now, I'm going to go to the UTM uh, Libraries website because I was a student there, and I know how that works and I think it can work for other students as well on other campuses so um, here are some search options um, you can certainly search for books in the catalog section and uh, possibly even articles in the uh, article search well not possibly certainly um, but what I would recommend is if you're using a uh, a database such as PubMed most of the time you might just want to create a shortcut um, one that allows you to access it through U of T so if I were to click um, search and this is e-journals I'm searching PubMed and e-journals e um, so the second um, second resource I see is this PubMed central electronic resource and that's exactly what I want. Um, and um, what I want to do actually is create a shortcut to that uh, in my bookmark section. So I will ask for a permanent link. Uh, and I will take that link. I will copy it. Or rather from here, copy. Um, and I will go to um, configure bookmarks and um, and I will add a bookmark I will um, paste that URL there and I will name that bookmark PubMed uh, U of T and now it's created so I'm just gonna close this window um, and uh, so let's just say I exit this browser and I should have a PubMed U of T um, uh, bookmark here so so this isn't the one I created but um, it's one I created uh, before and it, it should work the same so again it takes me to this web page um, so all I have to do really is um, click on this so this is the actual link to PubMed now um, I can search for any articles and again I'm going to search for educational resources and um, I should theoretically have access to um, the PDFs from most of these journals so for example if I was interested in this um, article I would click on it I would add it to my library and I would also add the PDF to my library so again it's uh, Meder Medarasova uh, Gakova and I would um, attach the PDF to that and again um, if I double click here then I see the PDF so I'm just gonna attach some more files just so we have something in the library um, so if we were to click on this, um, I could attach it and uh, attach it to Jackson 2009, um, Jackson 2009. And uh, of course you don't have to do that extra step of um, actually adding the citation before you download the PDF 
So for example, if I click here, um, I can just go to the PDF, and of course this is in by Jackson, so I'll download and import. And I will accept. Now uh, what's important to notice is, um, uh, sorry, so let's just make sure here, so Melby, right, and um, yeah. And this again is by Jackson Wright. So what's important to notice here is that um, I have access to the HTMLs um, and I can go straight to the PDFs. Um, what's important to notice though is that um, you might have to uh, enter your UTOR ID and password uh, to get access to PubMed. Um, uh, or, or through the library, so that might be one step um, that you have to do, but once you sign in, if you uh, keep uh, using the library, you won't have to continue to do that. Um, so, so that's basically how you add um, references through the UFT libraries.